If your Ubuntu is not in full screen mode, here on the top navigation, click on Devices and here click on Insert Guest Edition CD Image. And this disk icon will appear here in this navigation. And now to complete this installation we need to open up Terminal. Click here in the left button corner on this icon. Here select Terminal. Here change directory to Media by using command CD. Hit enter and in this media you should have a folder name with your username. So let's enter this folder by using CD. Type in your username, what you use to login, forward slash and enter. And you will enter your user's folder. And in this folder type in ls and hit enter and you will be able to see this file which we just downloaded. Let's enter this virtual CD ROM folder by also typing a command CD and this folder name. And hit enter. And once we are in this folder we can have a look around by seeing what files are there by also entering a command ls and hit enter. And now you see all files which are located in this folder. And here you can see this file vbox linux editions.run. This is the file which we need to run but this is compressed and we will not be able to run it. So we need to install a bzip2 tar. Before we do that type in sudo apt update. Hit enter and here pure password. And hit enter and it will update all packages. And now let's install bzip2 tar. Type following command sudo apt install bzip2 paste and tar. And hit enter. Here you click on Y to confirm it yes. And hit enter. And now let's try to run this guest editions file bbuildlinuxeditions.run. And to do so, also type in command sudo. This is as you are using as main user. Dot forward slash and file name. And hit enter. And here you can see the system is currently not set up build kernel models. Please install the GCC make Perl packages from your distribution. So let's do it. And to do that also type in sudo apt paste install and gcc make perl and hit enter here again y to confirm yes enter and now let's run this guest editions again just click on arrow up to get to those commands and hit enter and now it should be working but first let's restart this virtual machine let's close it down now make sure that you have clicked on this virtual machine and here on the top click on start here again let's log in click on your name uh, type in your password hit enter and here on top where it says view full screen mode and click on switch and now Ubuntu is installed and it is available in full screen mode.